Hello everyone. Yes, this moment I have I want to share you something regarding uh, how to solve uh, problems or question in mechanics. This is actually on paper four in the mathematics one M one, but because this is related with physics, uh, actually uh, about the equilibrium. So, uh, I want to try to solving this question, but before go continue and view and see my video, uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, comment or like in this video or post button notification on the subscribe button. Okay. Uh, Yes, I have this question. Yeah, I have this question. This is about the equilibrium. Yeah, uh, when uh, this uh, uh, rope, yeah, when this rope is coming from A, G, and R. Yeah, we have five point six newton on the horizontal line. And on the horizontal line of the opposite uh, way, we have this is the angle is uh, uh, 90 degree or uh, right angle. Yeah. Uh, we have length of the AG is 30 centimeter and RG is 40 centimeter. So uh, the question is. Uh, we need to find tension AG and GR if the system in equilibrium limiting equilibrium. Um, uh, the mass of ring R, the mass of ring R is 0 0.2 kilograms. Yeah. We need to prove that coefficient of friction is 0 0.341. Yeah. We need to prove it. Yeah. Uh, we have we need to prove it. And question three is on R if the attached mass M, yeah, uh, and then still equilibrium, uh, find mass, yeah, when the uh, coefficient of friction still same, zero point three four one. Yeah. Okay, let me start uh, about the how to solve this question. But before we go, uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And you can see on the other other videos here. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's say we have 30 centimeter, 40 centimeter, and this is right angle. So if we use the Pythagoras theorem, so we get this is 50 centimeter. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, we need to find. A G tension rope and G R tension rope, uh, but we need know uh, how is uh, angle in here and here. Yeah. Let's say angle here is alpha, yeah, and angle here is beta, and then let's say this is the the origin point of the x y the x y coordinate yeah Cartesian coordinate so let's say we have y and then this is x direction yeah so we have tension rope here tension rope of AG let's say this is T1 yeah T1 and tension of GR let's say this is T2 so uh, we can uh, split uh, tension T1 and T2 on X and Y direction. Yeah. This is X direction and this is Y direction. Yeah. So alpha and alpha and beta actually this is alpha equals here yeah. and beta equals here. This is about the mathematic uh, theorem. Yeah. So and we get here is T sine beta and we get here is 
Ti Kospeta. I hope you can see my red hand. Yeah, uh, it's so small because my whiteboard is so small. Then also we have on the with the T two we have this is T two of. sine alpha and we have also here t2 so this is t1 t2 cos alpha yes okay uh, everything about the tension already on the x y direction so we can use the formula of newton first law this if the on the equilibrium total force equal to zero Total force on the x direction or total force in the y direction. So, uh, and if we see on the x direction, we have uh, P, P1 cos beta. Cos beta is uh, here because this is uh, so cos beta equals with. 4.5 yes and plus t2 t2 cos alpha cos alpha is same with 3.5 3 over 4 over 5 and equals with 5.6 newton so uh, we have this uh, equation about the t1 and t2 so if we uh, multiplication with 5 here yeah. so we have 4t1 plus 3t2 equals with 5.6 times 5 actually this is about 5.6 times 5 28 yeah. so finally we have one equation yeah for t1 and t2 yeah and then we will have one question again from the x uh, on the y direction yeah on the y direction we have uh, that t1 sin beta equals to t2 sin alpha so here t1 sin beta sin beta is uh, here beta is 3, 3 divided by 5 yeah. sorry minus minus t2 t2 sin alpha sin alpha is 4.5 yeah. equals 0 so if we cancel this so this we have about t2 equals with 3 over 4 of T1. So, we can uh, substitute this uh, this question into T2. So, we can get yes, 4 T1 plus 3 this is 3.4 T1 yes, here equals with 28 so we have a we find your width for 61 plus 61 equals to uh, 28 times 4 equals to yes 28 times 4 equals 112 yeah. and we get uh, this is 25 p1 equals to 112 so uh, finally we divide it 112 with 25 it's equals to yes t1 equals to 4.48 newton so what about t2 t2 we can just uh, uh, substitute this question that t2 equals of 3 4 yeah, times 4 8 so we get 
times 0 0.75 yes we get 3.36 newton yes this is the truth okay finally we get t1 around 4.48 and t2 around 3.36 newton so the question one already broke already uh, answered it so now what the question two <coughs> if mass of the ring is 0 0.2 yeah we need to prove that mu is 0 0.341 yes okay uh, we know about the ring yeah if this is ring Ring has mass, yeah. ring has mass, 0 0.2, yeah. so this is 0 0.2 g about weight, so we have also a uh, tension root here is, uh, this is T2, T2 is 3.36 Newton, and we have here is angle of beta, and we have also about the frictional force. Okay, uh, we don't know about the direction of the, uh, of the uh, move. Actually, this is uh, coming from up, so frictional force it will be going down. This is frictional force. Yes. <coughs> so we have also about the normal contact force here. here. Normal contact force. And um, we have about this is 3.36 uh, beta here, it is sine beta, and we have here 3.36 cos beta. Yes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, force uh, acting on the, this ring. So, we come back from uh, the question, uh, we, need, uh, we need erase some, uh, some uh, my handwriting, yeah. So, uh, if the equilibrium, we have, actually, we have frictional force plus 0 0.2 G equals to... 336 cos beta. The cos beta is cos beta is 4.4. 4, uh, this is 45. <coughs> and the frictional force is coming up from mu, and normal contact force is 336 sine sine beta is 3 divided 5 yeah. then let's say the gravitational acceleration uh, we use 10 so here is 2 yeah. so here is if we calculate this one yeah 336 3.36 times with 0 0.8 is coming uh, 2.6 2.688 yes uh, then if we calculate this one yeah this is actually 2.66 2.688 yeah minus 2 coming uh, uh, let's say this this is about 0. Point, uh, let's say minus 2 equals to 0. 0.688 and we we multiply it with five yeah times five equals with three point four four and divide it by three divide it by three and come to one point one four and finally we divide it by three point three six here divided by three point three six yes this is actually zero three four one yeah Yes. Oops. Mu times zero point three four one. Yeah. Finally, we prove it about this one. Yeah. 
the same thing 0.341 for mu okay uh let's continue about the question three the question three is uh, when are attached mass m yeah okay. find m when mu still stem 0.341 okay now uh um i want to erase uh, some of here yeah um, let's say i want to erase this one yeah i want to erase this one maybe because this is already proved it so i want to erase this one and find the mesh m so if we attach here mass, yeah. Uh, what will uh condition here? It will touch put the mass here. Yeah. This is ring and mass here. Yeah. So we have still tension here is uh three three six three three six newton and we have here also and we have here also. 336 uh, sine beta and here is 336 cos beta here we have mass of ring is 0 0.2 0 0.2 g and we have mass also m so we can uh, it is this one by adding m so we have m plus 0 0.2 g yes this is about uh, the weights of the ring and mass attached yeah. and we have here what frictional force yeah that that condition after we attach the mass of this ring we will have frictional force on the opposite direction because the weight, uh, the weight is dominant from this uh, frictional force. So uh, we have also about a normal contact force here. Okay, we need to find M. Yeah, by uh, uh, I want to uh, write first. This is about cos beta is sorry, cos beta is. sorry cos beta is 0 0.8 and sine beta is 0 0.6 then i will i will erase this side here for uh, how to solve this uh, problem this question so okay this is about normal contact force. Okay. Uh, now, uh, about how 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 much mass is it? Yeah. See, uh, about the <coughs> on the x direction or on the y direction we have uh, on the y direction we have about the uh, mass plus 0 0.2 this is weight yeah and equals with frictional force plus 336 cos beta yes this is here here yeah uh, weight of the rings mass plus weight of the ring and mass attached mass plus 0 0.2 g equals with frictional force and equals plus 3.2 3.36 cos beta so uh, we calculate this m 0.2 g let's say g is 10 and frictional force is uh, mu mu is 0. Point, uh, here this is frictional force here yeah. uh, let's say 0. Point, mu is 0. 0.341 and 336 times with 0 0.6 yes yeah plus 0 
plus the plus is here again this is 336 cos beta cos beta is 0 0.8 so uh if we calculate first one here yeah uh, let's say this is m plus 0 0.2 of 10 yeah. uh, coming what number is this Zero point three four one, yeah, times with uh, three point three six, yeah, times with zero point six. This is coming zero point uh, zero point six eight seven plus and three point three six times with zero point eight coming. This is 2.688. So if we adding, yeah, this is 0 0.687. Yes, this is coming 3.375. So mass plus 0 0.2 equals to. 0 0.3375 so mass equals width yes this is uh, sorry if I did way and minus 0 0.2 yes yes we get 0 0.1375 kilograms yes this is the mass attached on that string Okay, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my video, like and comment, or pass the button on the notification subscribe. Thank you very much, thank you, and uh, see you on the next my video.